So this is the much anticipated next flight of the scale model and as you can see there we have tufted the wings so we can see what kind of flows are going on there uh, because we've made these changes there with the vortal lines that you can see in the outboard uh, wing fence there to make sure that we're not getting any span wise flow. We're trying to uh, guarantee that we don't have uh, any uh, Dutch roll problem in slow flight. We're also um, going to be checking to see if we have any uh, yaw instability in either normal flight or slow flight and also just checking to see if there's any uh, types of oscilla oscillations that are induced uh, by rolling or any other uh, control input. And already you can see there's very little if any turbulence on the top of the wing. Uh, maybe a little bit being generated by that first uh, vortal on there at the um, transition between the strake and the rest of the wing, but that's expected. And here on the underside of the wing you can see it's pretty much the same story. A little bit of turbulence there just behind that first um, Vortalon. And again that's expected because if there's any spanwise flow coming off the leading edge there it's going to be stopped by that Vortalon and redirected uh, aft. And again create a little bit of turbulence there. Jeff's putting in some abrupt aileron inputs to see if there's any induced oscillation after he uh, levels the uh, controls again. And as you can see, it basically just stops immediately and there's no rocking back and forth. So it's very stable there in the roll axis. Once the wings go level here you can see that there's uh, little if any yawing uh, going on there where the nose is hunting left or right so it's, it's nice and stable like that as well. And here you can
can see in the transition from the wing to the winglet, there's no turbulence whatsoever going on uh, in that radius there, which is really good because that's where we were worried that uh, we were going to see something and that was what was the spanwise flow was causing our uh, Dutch roll problem earlier. So here we are on final and we're looking for any uh, sign of Dutch roll. As you see, when the aircraft flies past Jeff, he actually puts that uh, input in there to make it bank to the right. It's not um, caused by the aircraft. And a bit bumpy on the landing, but no damage and certainly no sign of the Dutch roll that we'd seen in previous flights. So overall, Jeff and I are really happy with um, the improvements that have been made by adding the Vortilons and the wing fences and also increasing uh, the size of the winglets. So we're in a position now where we're happy to start actually working on uh, creating the plugs for the molds for the full scale wing. So this has been a successful flight for us and I hope you enjoyed getting a taste of what it might be like to fly in your own Raptor.